Hi, I happen to be at Granville Island here at the Federation of Canadian Artists Gallery. And I'm very happy to have uh, a showing of my plein air work here called the Summer Gallery, where a number of artists are showing together, 24 of us. And uh, what really is a, a good way to celebrate all that work that uh, you do outdoors and, and in your studio is to show it and share with people um, in a setting that they can enjoy the work. And so uh, having them nicely framed and then in a space that is well lit and conducive to people coming in and looking at work is really awesome to have uh, available for artists. And oh, uh, Patrick Meyer, the director of uh, the Federation happens to be here. And if you could come and speak on how uh, the Federation supports artists. Uh, thanks, Jane. Um, I really do enjoy um, supporting Jane, as well as 2,400 other member artists that we have. Um, and here at the Granville Island Gallery that we have, where we've got shows um, almost every day of the year. And please do come in and enjoy viewing, but also if you're an artist yourself and you do want to show your work in a gallery, this is a wonderful opportunity with a new show every uh, uh, two weeks or so. Um, we have uh, shows that you can enter and um, and display your work, or in this case, the Summer Gallery, we've got a, a selection of artists who are able to show uh, several of their pieces all at once. Um, other than there are exhibitions, we have education program and networking opportunities, uh, all geared towards supporting Canadian artists. And art venues, where I happen to have an article this, this month, and I'm pleased about that, about plein air, but there's some great articles in there by artists and other mm -hmm. people, and uh, you can see a lot of nice paintings in the magazine as well. So yep, these right. are all wonderful things the Federation has done for us, and I thank you for this opportunity. Thank okay. you for speaking with us today, Patrick. Okay, thank we'll you. see you again. I love seeing your work here. <laughs> Underpainting... Um, like I did in the last painting with a little bit of pink, just to sort of add a difference to the water and lay that in as a background color. So I'll just put that in here. It's quite strong. 